Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax here. It's time for an update on my Blue Death Finning Beetle breeding project. Here are four of the largest larvae. These larvae, when stretched out, are approaching two inches long. I don't know if this gives you a good idea of how big they are, but when they are removed from the enclosure, they tend to contract up a bit. But when these are stretched out, they're right about two inches long, maybe a little bit under that, but it's close enough. One of the larger larvae actually passed away and I've heard that that happens when they reach pupation size and they don't have an opportunity to pupate. And I really want to prevent any more deaths and I think it's just about time for these to pupate. So I have prepared some pupation containers. Here is one of the pupation containers. It's just a 16 ounce deli cup. I have uh, used the same stripe straight I've been keeping the beetles in, which is a play sand mixed with some organic materials such as leaf litter, there's some um, oak leaf pellets in there, things like that, as well as some organic potting soil. And I've also added some cocoa fiber and packed it down a little bit. That can help provide you know, more depth as well as a good uh, stable pupation chamber. If you add some of that cocoa fiber, it tends to make the, uh, the substrate a little bit more able to hold burrows. So I'm gonna take these larvae and place them in the uh, pupation enclosures. I've got four of them that are ready here, just about the same size. Some are a little bit bigger, some are a little smaller, but I think they're just about as big as they need to be to give this a try. Of course, smaller larvae will lead to smaller beetles. And I prepared these lids, just drilled a one inch hole in them so that I can seal them down and not worry so much about the beetles crawling out or the larvae crawling out, that is. And uh, they still get good ventilation. And as you can see, the larvae aren't losing much time in crawling down into the substrate. And the next step is to place them in this hovabator. It's an incubator. This is a model specifically modeled for reptiles. So it doesn't have an egg turner or anything like that. And I have uh, been monitoring its temperature. It's pretty stable right around at 88 degrees. I have opened it recently, so the temperature probably decreased a little bit. And I just started regulating the humidity today, just a little while ago. So right now we're at 86.4 degrees, 55% relative humidity, that the humidity is too low. The temperature is probably in a suitable range. But what I have done is filled, let me move around here a little bit. These two wells, which go around the entire um, incubator, I filled these two with water and the relative humidity has gone up by about 15 points since I've done that just a few minutes ago and it will continue to increase and should level off right around 75-80% relative humidity. And if not, I will change things to get it to that point. And the temperature, like I said, should hold right around 88 degrees, which is just where we want it. So now I'm gonna take these four larvae in their, what I hope to be pupation chambers, set them in here. I'm going to try to put these close together where I can put this on top so that I can see through the viewing window and I'll monitor the temperature and humidity from outside because the more I often I open it, the more it's going to modify the humidity and temperature, which I don't really want to do very often. So now it's just a matter of maintaining the correct humidity and temperature for a number of months and hopefully we'll get beetles. And of course, I'll keep you updated. I wanted to thank my Patreon backers for helping to make this possible. They helped me purchase this incubator and they helped really do everything I do on this channel is uh, helped in great part by my Patreon supporters. So I really appreciate all of your help. Again, I'll put a link in the description to this incubator if you want to try to replicate the experiment that I'm doing with uh, this same incubator, if you wanna get your research started. 
and I'll put links at the end of the video to all of the other videos I've been doing as a series as part of this project in breeding blue death fanning beetles uh, as a playlist that you can check out. So thanks for watching today. I post videos every Wednesday and Friday all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then click the bell icon so you don't miss my next video.